Okay, welcome back. Obviously our house is still built, which is nice. <laughs> Unlike the last episode where the house was gone. So, let's see what we're going to do today. We've got a lot of logs to cut. Um, we could start working on the fence. I could actually build the fence as I'm going. <laughs> as I'm cutting the logs, I just throw them into the fence. I think what I might do, because the way this is set up, oh, let's see, I want to have it to where I can get into the, what I'll do is maybe put a fence here. a walkway kind of thing. Oh, come on. Oh, see, this game is so hard to get things to be straight. And then it snaps that way. <coughs> oh, there we go. It's going to do it, isn't it? Okay, something like that. And then what we're going to do is going to go over this way. Go this way with it. is the entrance. My bees are probably ready. Oh, let's take a look at it. We want to kind of go straight so it kind of at least looks somewhat uniform straight to the wall. That's what we'll do for right there. And we need to make, I don't think they can get through this fence. So we want to put this fence here. 
Oh, it's kind of floating, isn't it? Kind of goes at an angle here, doesn't it? Let's. I want to kind of straighten it. Hits that first, second one there. It always seems to be. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, the log. this way we can get them kind of stacked. I do have a stack of them somewhere. Remember exactly where it was. Get them stacked, and then I can bring the one of the saws over. And get a bunch of them cut, and then we can start working on the fence. Well, it is currently. What time is it? Uh, let's take a look at the. Look. Almost nine o'clock. And I was born at 6.30 tomorrow morning. 28 years ago. Or 28. <laughs> I wish. 48 years ago. 28 years. Oh my goodness. That was forever ago. Yeah, it's hard to believe. 48 years old. And I don't feel a day over 45. <laughs> Some days. <laughs> Some days, 85. So, not sure what I'm going to do for my birthday. I was hoping to find a cool game on sale or something to, to buy for a birthday present. And I'll probably go Tuesday, go into town, go to a movie, and maybe go to the casino. See if I can win something for my birthday. Not sure if casinos offer any kind of birthday perks if you go on your birthday. You'll look into that. Sometimes places do. Okay, getting a little far from our our stack here. I guess if I would just uh, take and wait until I've got the saw here and just pick them up once would probably be better, but kind of want to get them all like stacked and organized that was a warm day today it was 62 I think really windy though it was really windy out it was funny I, I put out my hammock for, for a while and kind of laid in it and the wind was gusting so hard it felt like I was floating on air because it was sitting uh it would, the wind would pick up the, the the hammock from time to time it's like made out of like a uh, material that they make a sail out of or a or a parachute even 
Cause it was kicking it. It was kicking it around. That's for sure. Today I was kind of contemplating getting back into Farming Simulator 22. I really I played I played 17 like crazy. That one I I played a lot of hours on that one. I don't know I kind of liked I liked the the map, the Sun Coast um, or whatever the name of that map was, some Sun Crest. I think it's been a lot of years since I've played it. But FS19, I didn't play all that much. I don't know why. It was, it was fun. Now 22, I've even played even less than that. But I should get back into it. And that is one of my thoughts. Now if anybody would want to see a Farm Simulator 22, I know Chris, you said you wouldn't mind seeing it. I'm just trying to think what game I would discontinue um, the I was doing the Star Wars um, Jedi Survivor the last time I tried to record the game crashed on me and I haven't really felt like messing with it which is weird that it would crash on me it, with my brand new computer it did fine on the old computer or no, no, not that one did. The first one did really good on the first on my old computer. This one I did not do well on my first computer. So But it was doing better when I played it last. And then just all of a sudden it was not it crashed on me. Well, it was a pretty, pretty day out today. Tomorrow's gonna be even better. It's my birthday. <laughs> Just in case you didn't pick that up from the earlier talk. <laughs> Trying to get, trying to get myself familiarized with all the uh, monetization stuff. I think I have something like a super chat now, or something, or st super stickers, or something that you're able to support my channel financially, which would be awesome. <laughs> I've put over the last three years literally thousands of dollars into the channel with cameras and games and new computer and so I'm waiting for that first ad revenue check which I still haven't earned anything yet but I just got monetized yesterday so not expecting a million dollars to drop out of the sky <laughs> would be nice though wouldn't it <laughs> who would like to get rained on by millions of dollars okay this is, this is working out okay I'm gonna, what's that sticks Sticks and stones. I've got that new game, Edge of Survival. I haven't played it much. Just made those two episodes. It, it didn't get that great of a response, so I'm trying to find games that are going to get me a good following. Kind of the, um, this one does really good. 
was the other one that oh yeah call of the wild hunter call of the wild is doing really good so I'm definitely gonna think of that one plus I do own that way of the hunter that one too that's another one that I lost all the saves when I upgraded my computer Hadn't played it for quite a while though. And there's been a lot of updates and stuff, so I'm kinda curious to see how it how it is. Kind of fallen away from the desire to play the zombie games and, and stuff. Like Miss Survival. Which is okay, because right now it's still still not quite completed. I wanna make sure that before I start a new game on that I want to make sure that they have things fit working correctly would be nice that's why I was kind of thinking about farming simulator 22 the how to video does um, does really good the how to get to the Yukon Valley map one of my really good uh, viewed games I want to play more of the this land is my land but it's just we get controversial comments and stuff because it's the Native American game and stuff fun game though I do do pretty good on that one too but it's mostly the my how to videos on that one also not the gameplay itself and I'm not sure how f how they're doing on that game you know like fixing stuff because that one had really bad late game gameplay because I would I with that one I, I got the settlers down to zero percent and then all of a sudden the next day there's a fully built fort and there's soldiers like swarming my my camps and you can't be at every camp to help defend So they need to do something about that before I really feel like playing it too much again. What they need to do is see what the game, they've got different things. They've got like a, there's a fort, there's a farm, there's a mine, there's a hunting camps, mining camps, I think it's hunting camps. Um, the forts, the outposts, and they've all got like a supply chain. Well, when you go and have a, well, and they do ma mail carriers and stuff like that too, in wagons, and that's pretty cool. It's a, it's a fun game. It's just once you get to that stage where there's no settlers um, on the map anymore, like no forts or, or camps or anything. Uh, then all of a sudden it does that. So there's no possibility of winning because the way they have it set up. It's just all of a sudden this full fort without any supplies being brought into the onto the map. So it should be my two cents on the whole situation with that call of um, this land is my land is they should have to like if they say they're going to build a fort right in the middle of the map they're gonna put a new fort instead of doing like it does where one day there's nothing left and all of a sudden the next day they've got 20% of the map and they've got a fully built fort in the middle of the map what it needs to be is over a period of a few turns like a few days I would 
let's say maybe 10 days, there will be wagon trains and supply um, wagons um, that are bringing these essential um, items. Like if they're building a fort, they need logs. So have a log a caravan of wagons hauling large numbers of logs. And they have to get to the location where the fort is going to be built. So if you are able to send out scouts and the scouts say the scouts find where this convoy is you can attack the convoy and take all the equipment hence setting them back on building the fort and have it in stages like don't go from having a couple frame logs to having a whole fort built it should be one step at a time say like they build a house in the middle, they build a warehouse or a barn or something, and then start working on stages on the wall, like have it, have a few logs sticking up, you know, as they're working on the log wall. Every time a caravan comes in with wood, it progresses a little farther the wall builds up gradually so you have this chance to get in there and take out this convoy and steal their their materials that they're using to build the fort and that's one way to remove the fort before you have to attack it because you're attacking these supply trains I think that would make that game so much more fun because then you have a chance to actually beat it too the amount of times I had that game down to 0%, it's ridiculous. And it always seems to come back with a whole brand new fort. Okay, now off the rant of uh, about <laughs> this land is my land. I don't even know how I got into that. It's really late and I'm really tired. <laughs> so, so when I get really tired, I tend to, to ramble a little bit. In. Let's try it. Let's make another stack here. I, holy cow, I was busy cutting trees, wasn't I? Okay, well, I am, like, falling asleep sitting up here. <laughs> and so, I think we'll, we, uh, I might continue on this, probably not next episode. I want to come around and cut these stack them and then I'll go start working on the fence more and stuff so okay well I think that's where we're going to leave off for this episode thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it uh, have a great rest of your night hopefully you'll smash that like button if you're not subscribed do that right now I appreciate it have a great, great, great rest of your night